Hey everyone, me again. Um, before we get too far into this video, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that bought one of these on Saturday. Um, the sale went amazingly. I think we sold out in around 10 or 15 minutes, which is just like crazy. But yeah, I really do appreciate that and um, I'm really grateful for everyone who bought one of these. I hope you guys love them when they come. I shipped them all yesterday, which was Wednesday, so hopefully you've all got your tracking information um, on Etsy and you can see uh, where your order is and how it's coming along. So yeah, guys, I just really wanted to say thank you. Um, obviously, this wouldn't have been possible without you guys. And yeah, uh, to answer a quick question, a lot of people who missed out have been asking me when I'm going to be doing or if I'm going to be doing more of these and the answer is yes. I will be restocking uh, probably in a week's time or maybe just under that, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a bigger restock than the, the original sale, so yeah, be prepared for that. I'll definitely put a post up when they have restocked, so um, yeah guys, so be patient for those, but yeah, I uh, just wanted to say thank you. Um, Alright, let's jump straight into it. So, are you ready? <laughs> now. You guys should have been like you should have been there when um, I put this together for the first time and it actually worked. It literally was like just one of those crazy moments for me because there's something so satisfying about you know designing something yourself and then making it and then it actually working. That's just like crazy satisfying. So yeah, um, I'm extremely happy with this so far. Um, but yeah, here we go. Three, two, one. Boom, all right, so this is the Gear Hidden Blade. So obviously you guys saw this on the computer in part four. Um, so this is obviously part five today. And this is the first 3D printed um, test model of like the final product, you could say. Just have a bit of a closer look there. So you can see we got the V1 Mark One, uh, V2 Mark One Hidden Blade, sorry. So obviously this is the version two with the gear system. Then we have the Raw Ice Creations logo on the back there. And you can see overall it's just a very sleek, like, nice looking design. Um, yeah, now it does look a bit thicker than the OTF blade, but I assure you that's just an illusion. This one is actually thinner than the OTF blade here, so. Yeah, I think it's only like one or two mil. I'm pretty sure it's two mil. Um, but yeah, it is thinner overall in terms of functional uh, thickness. That's what I like to call it. Um, because that's what it needs to operate, obviously. Um, but yeah, so it's thinner design. It is a little bit wider though than the other one, but I mean, it's nothing like crazy as you can see there. It's not like too much uh, difference. But yeah, I think it came out really, really nice. Um, works 100%. Obviously the only thing that um, I need to fix, and I have addressed this in the other videos, is the secondary locking system which I want to incorporate in there. So obviously, um, well my thesis essentially was that the, the gear in the front would snap if there was like a big enough impact to the blade. I tested this the other day, I essentially extended the blade like that and I pushed it down on a surface until uh, the blade went back in to see what would fail. And it wasn't actually this gear or any of the actual gears in the gearbox that failed. It was, to my surprise, it was actually the linear gear, this piece here. So if you remember from the 3D design, there's a straight gear that runs along there. And it was this one. This one was the one that actually failed and broke in the end. So you can see there's just that bit at that bottom, uh, right there. And that's what actually snapped off. Now, I think I know why this happened. And it's because of the gear ratio. So obviously we've only been looking at it in this direction, so from the back towards the front of the blade, and in that case obviously it's a 1 to 32. But if we look at it from the front to the back, it's a 32 to 1. So that's quite a significant gear reduction, right? Um, which means that there is a lot of torque and rotational force that is developed at the end of this gear system in this direction. So what that means, obviously, is that by the time this, uh, the slight rotation of this gear from the blade pushing on it reaches the end, there is a lot of force on that straight gear, and obviously it was enough to cause that uh, back piece to snap off. So if we make the secondary um, lock system, that will completely get rid of any locking issues. I think I have a design, you guys have uh, been giving me lots of ideas as well, but I think I've come up with one 
um, that should work in here. And so the next part of this series will be going over uh, the secondary lock system on the computer. And then we'll do a final part where it will be everything assembled with the, the new lock system and it should all work perfectly, hopefully. <laughs> well, that's the plan anyway. Um, but yeah, but in terms of, you could use this as like a cosplay prop at the moment, like it works perfectly at the moment, but I just think if I'm going to get this made of metal, I want to have a little bit more security with the locking of the system, so yeah, I'll just show you it working, so here we go. Now you can see, obviously, it is a little bit louder in terms of the um, period of extension and retraction in comparison to the OTF one, so you can see, obviously, this one's just loud when it fully extends and when it fully uh, retracts, but this one is kind of loud as it's coming in and out, and that's obviously just because of the gears. Um, I had a subscriber suggest a bearing system, which I really like, so we can put some bearings in between, well, in the middle of all the gears, and that way it should just smooth out the mechanical action of the system. Um, but obviously just the material, it being plastic, is what's making it so loud because there's that rattle. Uh, between the gears so I think if this was made of metal it would automatically be a lot quieter and then if we were to further that by putting um, some bearings in those gears it would be very very silent but yeah for now I'm happy with this anyway so you can see it deploys and retracts with plenty of speed there so it's not very slow which is really cool comes out, locks in place relatively, and comes back in. So when it's out, there is a little bit of room. You can see that's sliding back and forth ever so slightly. And that is just because of the, the wiggle room between all the gears. Um, it's just closing that gap essentially, but once it hits that back piece, it's, it's like locked. So you can feel that there is obviously locked in place. But um, yeah, once the secondary locks in there, there shouldn't be any of that movement either. I mean, in terms of a prop, this is fully functional. Cool. Alright, so now I'm just going to strap this onto my arm so you guys can see what it looks like when you're wearing it. And uh, yeah, that should pretty much wrap it up for today's video. Okay, so first off, apologies for the mess in the background. Just try to ignore that if you can. But um, yeah, here I am wearing it. This is what it looks like. See, it's nice and sleek. Looks good comes out. Now you can see the blade is actually quite long. Um, you don't really need like a dual extended model of this, but I have come up with a design for one, so I will be doing it anyway, but you can see it's not really necessary because it is quite long. And that's obviously mainly to do with that little bit that sticks out at the start. But um, yeah, if you didn't need it, it's not really that important. Just because it's already quite long. See, it's got some speed to it as well. And obviously because of the gear system, gravity is never going to be an issue. As you can see, straight up, no issue. And we can go straight up as well. Just like that. Yeah. Okay, so I know a lot of people are going to be asking this um, when it will be for sale, essentially. So once we've done the, the secondary lock system and we've tested it out and it works and we've done the completed model, then it will be for sale. So I can't actually give you like a accurate timeline of when this will become a product. Um, but yeah, so we've still got plenty of testing to do and design altercations. But after that, um, uh, alterations, sorry. Um, but after that, it should be should be ready to go. So yeah, I can't definitively say when, but hopefully in the near future sometime. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, um, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, give some feedback. And yeah, I'll see you in the next part of the series where we're going to be addressing that uh, secondary locking system.